All right, guys, so we're back with another video. So I thought about this a little bit, and I think uh, what we're going to do for our uh, database is we're going to get rid of a couple of fields. I'm going to get rid of the name and the created at. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drop our tables right now. So we're going to do drop table guilds, drop table guild configurable. So what you need to do is drop your tables. But what we're going to do is we're going to change guild ID. So before guild ID was a foreign key, we're going to change it to a primary key. Because if we have it as a foreign key, the guild, there might be a chance that uh, there might be multiple guild configurables for one guild. And you don't want that. You only want one guild configurable per guild. So we limit that by using a primary key. Because when our primary keys define a record uniquely. Okay. And we're not going to get the name of the guild. We're not going to get the um, uh, date of the guild because we don't really need that. And plus, it's going to be kind of annoying to deal with, like, you know, certain guild names because they could have really weird characters and it might give our database some kind of issue. So we're just going to avoid that at all costs and just get the IDs and that's it. Okay. So what we're going to do is, like I said, just make sure you drop your tables, copy the schema. Okay. Just copy the structure. And just paste it in to your database and that's it. it should be just fine actually we have a issue over here okay so and there we go we should be able to have all our tables perfect okay so what we're going to do is we're going to import the db.js file so this is actually a promise that we're uh, importing so what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and have an iffy function so we're going to do async And inside here, we're going to do, we're going to declare a global variable called let db. And we're going to do db equals await and require database db. So now we can actually use our database. I'm actually going to name this to connection instead. Okay. Whoops. Okay. And I'm also going to log the bot in inside here. So we're going to do await client.login process.env bot underscore token. Okay, so that should be good. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to save the guild to the database whenever the bot first joins the guild. So we're going to listen to the guild create event. So client on guild create. And this takes in the callback function with the guild parameter. So that's the guild that the bot joins. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do two queries. So we're going to use async await. So let's just put the async here in front of our callback function. We're going to await two promises, okay? So we're going to do await connection. We're going to call the query function on the connection, and we're going to insert into the guilds table first, okay? So we're going to go ahead and insert into guilds values. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use string interpolation inside our template string. And we're going to pass in the guild ID, so guild.id, as a string, okay? So we have to put quotes around it. And we're going to do the same thing for the guild owner ID. So guild owner ID. Okay. And necessarily, we don't necessarily need the guild owner ID, but we're just going to store it. Okay. And this should be just fine. Okay. Now, if this fails, then uh, we don't want to do anything else with uh, guild configurable. Okay. But there is actually one thing that I should mention is that let's say, for example, if your bot leaves the guild and it rejoins, if you don't delete that from the database, then it's going to remain there and it's going to throw an error the next time it rejoins the server. But later on in the video, we're going to take care of that. So whenever the bot leaves the server, we're going to delete from the database. OK, so for now, we're just going to do a try catch around these two. So both of these queries must happen. They must be successful. If they're not successful, then we're going to not do anything. So connection.query, insert into. So we're going to insert into guild configurable. So we shouldn't have any issues with guild configurable ever. But all we're going to do in here is we're going to insert, uh, let's see, we're going to insert the guild ID. So let's just do uh, guild ID. And we're going to leave the command prefix alone. So we're just going to insert one field into the column. So guild ID is going to be um, guild.id. So that is going to, remember that's a primary key. Okay. 
All right, cool. So this should insert both of these, uh, both of these uh, statements. Okay, so these should. Okay, so these two statements should insert our guild into our database. So let's actually try it out. So right now I am on my test server. So I'm gonna kick my bot. Okay, so the bot is logged in. Okay, our database is empty. We don't have any data in our tables. Okay, uh, select from guild configurable. Okay, cool. So now let's go ahead and have our bot log into our server. So we're gonna do test first. So this should be successful. Uh, guild configurable does not exist, huh? What's going on? Oh, guild configurable. Whoops. Okay. Well, that definitely added the that definitely added the server to our uh, table. But why is it saying undefined for? Oh, I think it's owner ID capital ID. Okay. Let's just delete this again. So delete from guilds where. Let's just delete, let's just reset everything again. Okay. Uh, whoops. What did I do here? Oh. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's actually try this again. So let me just make, make sure everything's good. Okay. Everything's good. Let's kick our bot. Okay. Let's have the bot join the server again. So we're going to join test. Okay. So we shouldn't get any errors. Perfect. No errors. And if we look at our database, we can see select from guild configurable, select from guilds. And if I leave the server and if I join, it's going to give us an error, right? Because we're trying to add duplicate entries. So let's say if I kick the bot and if I join the server again, okay, it's basically going to try to add the entries every single time. You see how it says duplicate entry. Okay. So what we're going to do later on in the video is we're going to make it so that when the user when the when the bot leaves the server we're going to remove their data from the database you might not want to do that sometimes you might want to keep it but um we'll handle both cases okay i'm not sure maybe you guys can vote on it but um and but for now in later videos we're going to delete them when they leave the server okay so what we're going to do next is let's actually try this on my other server so i have a server called sty server and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kick this bot. So remember, like I said, the whole point of this bot is to work on multiple guilds. Okay, not just one guild, but multiple guilds. So it should do the same thing. It should add this configuration. So if I go ahead and do style server, we shouldn't get any issues. Okay, no issues. Let's select our data. Uh, whoops. There we go. We have our configuration. So we have guild configurable. We have guilds. Okay, cool. Awesome. And I get, like I said, I can do the same thing for my other server. I can do the same thing for my other server. And it should add all of those to the guild, like I said. And that is awesome. Okay, cool. So why is it important to add the data to the guild? Well, like I said earlier, the bot needs to make sure that the guilds are in the database so we can actually start searching for you know the configurations like the command prefix the mod log channel all those things okay so this is very important make sure that you are adding them when they first join or you can also make it so that uh you can make it a command so that in order for them to actually get added to the database they have to use some kind of command it's up to you but the idea is you run these queries and that'll do what you want to do Okay, so hopefully this made sense. Again, I do apologize for having to kind of like restructure the SQL database. But like I said, this whole series, we're going to be experimenting a lot. We're going to be learning a lot. And um, the main reason why I got rid of the the name from the database was because I was getting some kind of issue. See how over here on my server, I have quotes. It was giving me some kind of string error. So I kind of need to like look into that and see how to like fix that because it was like really weird with the way that it was happening. But uh, for now, we're just going to leave it like this. This is a very simple setup. We don't necessarily need the name of the guild anyways, because they can change it whenever they want. And they can have like really weird characters and you don't want to, you know, really deal with that. So it's better if we just have their IDs and then we can get the name by just, you know, getting the ID and fetching it. Okay, so in the next video, uh, we're probably going to go ahead and 
get the command prefix for every single guild and we're going to go ahead and configure the prefix all right so i will see you guys in that video peace